If learning martial arts is your hobby, you're lucky. It's because martial arts won't only improve your fighting skills, but also enhance your life in many areas like physical health, discipline, and humility. The reason why martial arts were created is self-defense. Today, there are a lot of martial arts to practice, so one gets confused regarding which one to master to beat down your opponent in a street fight. Based on its effectiveness and steepness of the learning curve, we'll be discussing the best martial arts for self-defense in this video. So, make sure you stick with us right till the end. Let's get started, shall we? Number 8. Karate Most of the people think karate is of Japanese origin, but it isn't. Rather, it originated from Okinawans. Though that is part of Japan today, Okinawa was actually an independent state at one time and is the home for most of what we now know of as Japanese martial arts. Karate is a broad term used to describe a large number of smaller styles and branches, the most important of which are Shotokan, Kaiokoshin, Goju Ryu, and many more. Shotokan Karate was evolved to combat Western boxing and is very tough and effective. It is a combination of powerful and linear strikes, kicks, and blocks and provides a solid base for self-defense in the street fight. However, it isn't as effective as Kaiokushin Karate. This martial art focuses heavily on full contact sparring, competitions, and body conditioning and therefore making Kaiokushin fighters living tanks. This type of karate doesn't have large movements and is not as effective as the Western arts, but is more than enough to defend you in a street fight. Number 7. Boxing Western boxing is one of the most popular martial arts for self-defense, and its origin can be traced back thousands of years to ancient civilizations. It is one of the most natural, aka instinctive ways for humans to fight. Boxing is a punching-only martial art, and even the punching is limited to a given belt line, which is usually around the middle lower part of one's abdomen. Boxing is extremely effective because it is unidimensional and focuses on striking to a specific area of the opponent's body. This martial art allows you to learn many different skills to a very deep level and helps knock someone out if needed. Boxing is not only about punching bags and speed bags. Footwork is an extremely important element of it and is arguably one of the hardest parts of it to master as well. It enables you to move flexibly around the opponent just like the great Muhammad Ali switch stances and makes you extremely quick on your feet. Boxing has a lot of general benefits which can come in handy in self-defense scenarios like hand-eye coordination, cardiovascular health, and general fitness. Most people love this martial art because it's quite stunning. What do I mean by that? Say you get attacked by multiple assailants and, after realizing none of them are trained fighters, you easily knock one of them out. So, the rest of the attackers will definitely be more cautious in approaching you and might even run off. One of the downsides of boxing is that it doesn't use grappling, takedowns, and pound and pound, and that's the reason some people prefer other martial arts over boxing for self-defense. Number 6. Wrestling Wrestling is a sport that dates back to more than 15,000 years, and people think it's as old as humans themselves. Many successful UFC fighters like Daniel Cormier had their beginnings in wrestling. Wrestling is one of the most popular martial arts which is grappling based and focuses on messing up an opponent's balance to throw them on the ground and hold them there. What makes wrestling an effective martial art during a street fight is the speed at which takedowns are possible. Although there are no strikes in this martial art, there's nothing to worry about. It's all types of takedowns practiced in any regular wrestling gym make up for that. In a self-defense situation, wrestling comes into play when the attackers try to show their dominance by trying to kick or posing up for a fist fight. 
This is when you shoot for a double leg takedown in the blink of an eye and completely off guard the opponent. From here, you can decide what to do next because the attacker will have no clue what to do on the ground if he's not trained in wrestling or other grappling-based martial arts. One factor that places wrestling behind some other martial arts is that it happens mostly on the ground. This can be an ideal place to get the better of your opponent, but if he has some friends around, you won't have luck on the ground. Number 5. Muay Thai Next on the list of best martial arts for self-defense is Muay Thai, also called Thai kickboxing or Thai boxing. This martial art dates back hundreds or even thousands of years. Developed by the Thai people of Thailand and Eastern Asia, Muay Thai used the entire body to fight in close quarters combat. In this martial art, elbows and knees are also used as much as fists and feet to strike. Therefore, Muay Thai is also called the art of eight limbs. This is what makes this martial art so versatile and lethal. It is so incredibly effective in a street fight scenario because Muay Thai has got all ranges covered, be it a short elbow strike to the chin, a long roundhouse kick, or a medium distance jab. Muay Thai is also considered the best stand-up clinch art, which is the shortest range standing up fighting that exists. To secure some close range elbows and knees, the opponents hold each other by their arms, head, and shoulders. Plus, with the implementation of throws, one can develop a well-rounded understanding of self-defense in any situation. Before you decide to learn Muay Thai, you'll need a lot of determination and perseverance because in learning this martial art, one has to suffer a lot of pain and struggle. Number 4. Jiu-Jitsu Next on the list is Jiu-Jitsu, the favorite martial art of the most popular commentators and practitioners in the world of martial arts, such as Joe Rogan and Jocko Willink. Jiu-Jitsu originated at the end of the 20th century and is the martial art with the steepest rise to fame. This amazing martial art for self-defense is extremely effective since it doesn't rely on physical power or luck, but rather skill and calculated technique. Jiu-Jitsu is so efficacious that even an inexperienced fighter could knock out a champion with one stray hand landing in the right place. The only insufficiency of Jiu-Jitsu is stand-up fighting, but that is made up for by its extensive emphasis on takedowns. Standing up or on the ground, once a Jiu-Jitsu fighter gets hold of its opponent, the game is over. Number 3. Krav Maga it is an Israeli military combat system designed to prepare people in the toughest and sturdy places to be able to counter any warning situation as quickly as possible. You'll encounter specific rules such as no groin strikes, no throat strikes, no eye poking, whichever martial art you practice. But that's not the case with Krav Maga. It is because this martial art was developed with a life or death situation in mind and, in this martial art, these weak points of the body are mostly attacked to nullify the opponent's attack as quickly as possible. Krav Maga is one of the easiest and intuitive martial arts to learn for self-defense, requiring about six months for a person to learn it to the extent that he'll feel reasonably safe in any street altercation. In order to avoid physical altercation, Krav schools mostly focus on verbal de-escalation and some other survival skills. Number 2. MMA Here comes the most popular martial art of our times and the reason for the rise of organizations like UFC and Bellator. MMA is a broad term and includes all the areas of fighting that humans have come up with to date. In mixed martial arts, the individual tries to become the best all-round fighter and emphasis on wrestling, striking, grappling, and more. This well-roundedness makes it one of the best martial arts for self-defense. In self-defense situations, one must know how to handle grappling as well as stand-up fighting. MMA provides an excellent self-defense skill set that can compete with any other martial art. 
In case a highly skilled boxer attacks you, you can submit them on the ground by getting a takedown. That's how effective MMA is. Number 1. Krav Maga plus MMA Now, this is interesting. How about someone knowing how to use Krav Maga along with MMA? Well, he'll be an absolute beast. The only thing that MMA lacks is the illegal moves, and in a self-defense scenario, you won't care for the attacker's neck or eyeballs. Instead, you'll only be trying to get out of there to save your life. MMA gives you the surety to handle almost anyone on the street, but if it really does come to a life-or-death situation, the moves of Krav Maga, which are illegal in MMA, will help you out. Hands down, the combination of Krav Maga and MMA is the most effective when it comes to self-defense. So that's it. It was all about today's episode. Which of these martial arts are you going to learn for your self-defense? Let us know in the comments section. If you liked what you saw, do subscribe to our channel and also hit that notification icon. Till our next video, it's goodbye.